Hi everyone. So, um, why do I think anorexia nervosa is much more prevalent in the U.S. than other developed countries? Um, I think in the U.S. we have a lot more pressure from um, social media, um, a lot more pressure to be this um, picture perfect person. Um, a lot of pressure from social media, which goes into the third question. What part does the media, especially social media, play in anorexia nervosa? Nervosa? Whatever. Um, <laughs> on social media, especially Instagram, um, and especially the, the, the Explore page, it's like all models. Models with perfect, thin, perfect, thin bodies. Um, now the perfect body is um, turning into large breast, large boobs, or large butt, and um, a tiny, a tiny waist. That's the perfect body. Hourglass figure. Um, so I think seeing that on social media over and over and over and how many likes um, a person gets from having a certain look really plays, um, um, a big part in this, um, diagnosis and disease. And I think that's why we see a, a rise in children and adolescents who are diagnosed with this because, um, children are beginning to get on social media platforms at a much younger age now because, um, tablets, you know, iPads, cell phones are being given at a much younger age than when I was a child or um, my older siblings were children, you know. We didn't really have that stuff because it was a new thing. Um, but now it's much more um, known um, and um, used as um, for gifts, for um, ways to, so they don't sit in front of the TV, you know. So, I think um, that social media and children's access to social media really plays a big role in anorexia.